we learned about the other side of the border, um, the San Diego Tijuana border, and um, we made an animation film pretty much to explain the relationship or kind of show what we pictured on the other side of the border because some of us have never gone on the other side. I heard about this project um, at the time Azul Torones was the director of high tech middle media arts um, and so he told me about um, Norma who was looking for someone who could translate the French because she was having French animators come teach the workshop. So he came to me because I speak French and I could translate uh, which ended up being really important because our animator, he spoke English but just very little so for the kids it was a good experience to see, to hear the French and to hear the English translation. French animators came in and they taught us a whole bunch about the process and pretty much how to animate. And so what we did is we used this um, thing called the multiplan, which is a giant like box thing and then it has different layers with glass. So pretty much we can put different objects on the different layers to make them to give give it that background, foreground, middle ground kind of effect. You just take a picture and then move it a little bit, take another picture, and then after like a couple hundred pictures, it you get an animation like where the little objects going around or whatever. And so we use mostly paper cutouts and but we use some 3D objects also. Through the process, um, I got like more comfortable with everybody and I knew um, a lot of people and we just worked together to like create our story. I really like we all put together in on the story, like everybody put an idea into the story. Nobody um, was left out. So like one person started one idea and then somebody else got an idea from that idea and then it kept on getting bigger and bigger until everybody was in um, the project. So I thought we were just making an animation movie. I didn't know that it had to do with um, the border, but then I kind of understood that we were creating a story of what we thought was on the other side of the border because I didn't even know it was on the other side of the border until I went to go see my, the premiere of our movie. I was born here in San Diego, and then since my mom had to work a lot, um, she took me over to my um, aunt's house, which is in Tijuana. So I, um, I would stay there while my mom worked. So then when I was old enough to go to um, preschool, I, w I crossed the border every day to go to school. And then there came a time when it was too tiring, and then I needed to put more focus on my work because it was getting more challenging. So when I turned seven, we decided to live here instead of crossing the border. I'll admit that I used to think anybody could like cross the border. And then when we did the premiere of our movie here in San Diego in El Centro Cultural in Balboa Park, some of the kids from Tijuana, they, they couldn't come because they didn't have visas and that was really sad. So my, my perspective changed a lot. Uh, such an interesting time to be here during the summer, um, surrounded by not only French people, but also Mexican artists, uh, people that either come from Mexico or live here and work in Mexico. Um, we had so many interactions, international people just sharing ideas. We just had a chance to, to learn from each other, so many different perspectives of how we look at life. So right now we're at the stage where uh, Norma Iglesias, her research book is coming out on how to run a workshop for animation and also what children across both borders think about the other side. Um, there's also a documentary in production in France and they are also doing a look at how students and how children view the border and that is coming out in the springtime sometime I hope. In 2010 there's going to be a celebration of the 200 year anniversary of the Mexican independence and they um, um, in France are going to show documentaries, have art exhibitions, and all kinds of different projects relating to the border and air on their stations and all over the press. For more information, visit hitechhigh.org.